Hello my cool cats and welcome back to another vet tech vlog. As you guys might know, I will be doing a giveaway soon. That video should be posted within the week, so stay tuned for that. There's not really any rules for that giveaway. You just have to be following my Instagram, following the Animal Hospital's Instagram, and just subscribe to see if you won. Other than that, like I mentioned, today we have another awesome vet tech vlog from Dr. Ansira's Animal Hospital. The appointment book is crazy. I am very excited to see what we will encounter today. This day was filled with several cases that were very interesting and also uncommon. After getting a quick weight and some blood on this baby that was brought in for pain around the mouth, we took a sneak peek and found some interesting things in the mouth. So if you look right here, do you see that? Yeah, he's probably gonna yeah. bite me. See, there's a tooth right there hanging. You see it? Yeah. Right there, hanging. <laughs> in this freeze frame, you can clearly see the cracked tooth and the red line or stomatitis on the gums, which is painful, just as Jamie mentioned. This pup was a bit of an emergency. It appeared to have gotten a hold of something in the yard, possibly a frog, since it came in with extreme salivation and was very disoriented. We immediately rinsed the mouth, drew some blood, and placed an IV catheter in order to treat our baby appropriately. Thankfully, just a few hours after starting the meds and fluids, this baby was already starting to feel better, which was a real relief, because this one was a cutie. Learning. <laughs> this adorable baby got a nail trim done. Of course, we cannot have a day without nail trims. Also some blood work, can't, can't go without those. Suddenly this little guy walked in and we knew just by looking at him that this wasn't a normal hotspot. After examining the area, we retrieved a culture and sensitivity of the pussy discharge that was coming from the wound. Does it feel good? Oh my. We really took our time in order to be as gentle as possible, but also as precise as possible. Phase two. Phase two. I know this I know, you know. We wanted to remove as much of the surrounding first, since it can enter the wound and cause more issues. Why, are, why do we soak, Jamie? Because it's stuck on, mm -hmm. and it's not very nice to be pulling things that are stuck. So you soak it. We knew the more we removed the clumps, we would find more fresh flesh underneath because of the necrotic tissue. Um, so we're gonna try and brush some of this off now. It's a fun job that we have. You're great at it. This my Jamie's probably the best person to do this. Wow, that looks so good. But of course in the end, Jamie ended up doing an amazing job and now it is just time for healing. <laughs> This pup came in looking not so hot as the owner saw a large number of tapeworms during some really runny diarrhea. But nonetheless, we placed an IV catheter on the baby in order to have a direct line for the IV medications to work their magic. amazing at placing catheters, I just love watching her. In addition, we hooked this baby up to fluids and ta-da, all done. I have some amazing and crazy news coming up, so I hope you guys stay tuned for that, in addition to, of course, the contest that's coming up. That is all for today's vet tech vlog, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. You guys make me so happy with your comments, so thank you so much. So yes, thank you, my cool cats, for being a part of the cool cat family. I love you guys. Bye!